What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm excited, I'm hyped. This is actually gonna be, I would say, like the second mod I'm actually gonna be doing onto the Z. Getting like a window tent, I don't consider that being a mod, plus it was like some really cheap ass eBay tent, replacing the stereo. I do not consider replacing the stereo to be a mod. The only real mod that I've actually done is doing a muffler delete. And uh, so that's the only thing that I'm, I got right now, just like some little generic uh, quad exhaust tips. I'm happy. Um, again, this is just for now until I can afford to get a full exhaust system. You know, because being married and you know with a few kids and stuff, it, it, it's pretty pricey. So, but at least I'm very happy that I'm able to have my dream car. One of the things I disliked about this car is how much it sits like a monster truck. This thing sits so high, pretty high. That's one of the things that I disliked. That I love seeing my car. I love seeing the bright red. But every time I look at the wheels, I just see this lifted monster truck looking suspension height. I'm like, ugh. You know, look like that's huge. And it doesn't help out anymore the fact that there's no poke whatsoever. All the wheels sit actually inward. And to me, that's just the look that I'm not too happy with. So we're gonna actually fix the right height. So I actually got some budget coilovers that I'm hearing they're pretty decent from one of my buddies who really knows about Z's so for now I'm going with the coilovers until again I can upgrade at a later time to high performance or name brand coilovers but for now I am going to be going with max speed coilovers I'm going to be going with the max speed coilovers and so I've never installed coilovers. This is my first time. I've never even driven a car with coilovers. So this is the first time for everything for me. So I like the way they look. They look freaking awesome. Again, I've never been around name brand coilovers and things like that. I'm still new to the game as far as learning how to modify my car. So this is one of the learning stages. It's never, it's never too late to learn. So here I am. Okay, so I kind of have a general idea how it goes. I only mess with these two. So I'm pretty hyped on getting the coilovers and the reason I had to go with at least some set of coilovers to get on the car is because of the type of wheels that I'm gonna go with. They're pretty aggressive and it needs at least a little bit of camber to tuck the, the wheels in a bit. So it might be to a point where I might have to remove the fender liner and roll the fender a bit. I still don't know, I hope that I do not. But in the meantime, let me start fixing it by installing some coilovers, get the height of this thing looking good. And, uh, but got lots of plans coming up for this thing. I already got a few parts going on in the next upcoming video so stay tuned but let me go ahead and jack up the car and get to working on it all right so, so far i got the front end jacked up and i'm gonna try to focus on the front first and then because the back i'm realizing it's gonna take me a lot longer because i have to remove all the interior trims and everything where the speaker goes and so forth and with the z it goes all the way around the hatch area so let me focus on the front so at least i can get a general idea how it works and now that i got jacked up so i can try to learn as i go Gotta make sure I don't lose this shit. So just for now, I'm gonna put the bolt back on the shock itself. So lose the bolt. And like that, I could just reference this once I take it out. Then make sure to mount that bracket back on the coilover once I swap everything out. All right. So this is like this little protective, whatever it is. I don't know what that is. But, ooh, a lot of spider webs. I don't like spider webs. I don't like speeders. Okay, so that gives me access to one bolt. A size 17. Barely enough room for a short socket, but we're good. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Ooh, not bad. Okay. So I got that boy on. Okay, so it still feels kind of tight down there, so. I'm gonna break these two apart to see if it drops everything to relieve some tension and we'll go from there. Ooh, 
number 14. Not bad. Ooh, it moved down. Okay, so let me leave these up here just in case. Okay, now let me take you guys back down there. So she's all good right there. Okay, she's moving, she's moving. Like I said, guys, I'm learning as I'm going, so. Okay, so you're loose. Why won't you come apart? took my car apart I am freaking the hell out right now I can't believe I just did this in my car I don't know I can't tell if this this looks good or looks bad but I'll give you a close-up in a bit okay so that one has a different opening so I'm assuming those are for the rear and then this is for the front cool you guys look at the size difference That's already looking pretty cool. Ooh, I'm excited. All right guys, so to give you guys a little bit of an update, I already did the front one. So when I started off with the passenger front, it was pretty easy. Uh, I didn't have any issues and you know, I got it on there. I'm just trying to measure it with the measuring tape as far as the spacing between the top rings and the bottom ones. I'm sorry, I don't know what the hell they're called. I'm learning. So I watched a few videos and stuff, but as far as what every single part on the coilover is called, I have no idea. I'm gonna be learning as the time progresses, but I put the wheel back on, lowered it. Before I had like a three finger gap between the, uh, the fender and the wheel. Now I went down to like a finger and a half. So now I think I went down to like one finger gap. So as long as it gives me like a nice flush look, I'm pretty happy with that. To my understanding, it's gonna settle as well. So during that time, I guess it's gonna lower some more and we'll just go from there. You won't be able to tell right now because it's still on the jack stands, but right now my son, Isaiah, he's gonna go ahead and uh, help me remove all the freaking back panels. So all this shit's gotta come off. Excuse the mess. This should be fun. So I guess it's the perfect timing for me to go ahead and clean everything up. Thanks to my son, Isaiah. And uh, so we'll get it done. parts that have to come off just to get to that bullshit this is the little cover that it has and that's what it look like afterwards and I still got my little headlight alignment tool pretty neat all right so we're gonna go ahead and jack up the car break those loose and go from there Go for it. That's my boy. So this is our little temporary, uh, uh, how do you call it? Storage for the nuts and everything. I was explaining to him, you never do this, but I'm only doing this because these speakers are blown. Care and I gotta get it replaced, so 
All right, so got the wheel up, got it on jack stands, got the wheel off. Uh, already, we already took off the uh, bottom bolt and the nut. So we just took those two off, so it should just essentially slide right out. All right, so that one is smooth. That was definitely a lot easier on the front. But check these things out, man. Things are 30 years old. 30 years old? Mm-hmm. Look at this infestation of them spiders and spitters and <laughs> seems like the whole damn family is living in here. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, there better not be no damn spiders in here. And what the hell is that? What the fuck? Oh, this dude fucked up my exhaust. Look at that, she looks so ratchet. Oh my god. Ew. That's fucking. Damn, that looks crazy. I'm gonna have to fix that. That looks fucking stupid. Yep, I'm gonna have to fix that. Now, what in the hell am I supposed to do with all these dance speeders? <laughs> uh, I don't want them to touch it. Go away. Ooh, it's so thick. Oh my god. Hold on, I'm not touching this shit. Fuck that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Fucking tarantula's gonna come out and. Oh, that's so scary. Ooh, we're so damn thick. Let me know if you guys also have this problem or is it just me? Because it seems like every single time that I come out to my car, there's always like spider webs here, spider webs on my side mirrors, and. I'm just trying to clear it as much as I can because I'm not trying to. Oh my god. Okay, go away, go away. I don't need any more spiders. Go away. Oh, there's still more. Wait, the spiders? Go away. All right, I think that's good enough. God, you guys we just finished bolting everything down we just lowered the car oh my god it too, it <laughs> oh my god we barely had enough room to pull out the, the low profile jack on top of that but luckily we went ahead and put a piece of two by four in the bottom just to give us more clearance <laughs> i kind of suspected that was going to happen but oh my god <laughs> it looks so <laughs> fucking good i've never driven a low car i've never driven a car with coilovers so this is gonna be my first. Oh my God. I'm so fucking happy, I love it. <sighs> I try to get as far as the same height all the way around, but oh my God. All right, let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. I fucking love it.
love it. It looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my God. No more monster truck look. I love it so much. <laughs> well, I'm gonna just leave it there, give it some time to settle, and then uh, I don't know how long this stuff takes for it to settle down and stuff, but once it does, and gives me the final look then at that point I'll start readjusting the suspension to make sure it's even all the way around I really don't want to do it here because this area is kind of uneven and stuff but I fucking love the way it looks I don't even know the way it handles right now so I'm gonna go for a little drive right now and clean up my mess over there and uh, give it, go for a little drive but it looks so good though 